Right, time for another video with the JCB and the usual suspects. And uh, that's Steve, an old time digger who's come out of retirement, but he doesn't know it yet. Can't keep him away lately. Um, it's a different part of the same tip we've recently done, uh, but it's pretty much the same layout. Ten foot of capping, three foot of ash. But there are a few bottles in this, which makes a big difference. Um, just nearly fall down banking. A few early finds, we've only just punctured through the capping. Uh, bases, a Dewsbury and brown lid. Uh, looking at the stuff, it looks certainly 1890s, so it's the right age. Uh, that's a nice little lamp, as they call them. It's got like a big heavy star embossed on it. So yeah, we're quite excited because it looks quite good. Before and then it goes wrong, but yeah, well worth pursuing. Another early looking find, LCC. Don't know if it's railway. Answers on a postcard or by email will do. A local cod. Ben Shaws and Sons. Local beer, Taylor Brothers, Meltham, the outskirts of Huddersfield. H. Sykes, Chemist, Mole Green. Another local cod. Sykes, Lindley. Couple of local beers, pop bottles, Coopers. With the Ben Shores. A good selection of blues coming up today. Steady flow of them. Unusual one. Woodcock's Hartine. Chipped, sadly. Another blue. Right, halfway through day one on this uh, site, uh, another little find, Gillen's electric cough mixture, from a time when they were fascinated by electricity and its stuff, a uh, bit of a disaster, They'd just blown a hydraulic pipe, We've got a good shower of hydraulic oil between us, Paul's just gone down to get a new pipe, uh, the danger is when you're going through such a heavy cap, can soon put the pressure up on the pipes and the old machines, it just blows them about 30 quid a time, so that ain't cheap. We better get some stuff on to start paying back as uh, costs. <laughs> right, it's another day over. Uh, not a great deal, but some strange ones. Sheffield Bottling Company, Clark's World Famed. Clark's Miraculous Salve. Couldn't have worked because it's got a crack on and it hadn't cured itself, so... <laughs> Local Cod. Calvary's Golker. Best find it there, what swap Paul had. <laughs> Damn near green cod. It's not green, it's just a very dark aqua. He swapped it off Steve who were watching. They are on here, that sort of thing we, we were after and hopefully might get some and they usually they do come actually darker green than that. Till next time. Okay, today too. All expectant. That's a foot into the plate. So we're not gonna mess around today, we're just gonna show you fine it's gonna be loads of them. Well I think so. Mr oh. Optimistic. Yeah, we've thought that before. So on with the show. Oh, I definitely. So on with the show. It's an early six ounce Naranek. Number of owner's license 625. Local beer without the blue top, same company. Wrong bottle. Arthur P.H. Addison. 
Huddersfield. And a Dewsbury Brown Brown again, complete with base and chip. It's a shooting scene toothpaste lid. Last bit of quality today. Last probably. Interesting acid etched bottle, all shot blasted, which I think they were. Big thing on bottom, but interesting. John Calverley, Golka Huddersfield cod. It's a stout, as we have them round here. Aspinall and Co Huddersfield. It's a Jas H. Tyndall cod, a plum tree meat paste pot. Still nothing. It's a banner and prost imbrication for horses and a little meat paste, I can't read it. Need some specs, some at vaginal. <laughs> vaginal. It's a Dyson and Co. Botanic Brewers, Mills Bridge. Which is a small town in the Cone Valley, outskirts of Huddersfield, not far from where we are. It's a John Aspinall, Ale and Porter Merchant, Huddersfield. Oh, Paul just existed. getting crushed to death in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honour, he had an hard hat on. The We Know Nothing Brigade. Yeah. Can I have your collection if you died, Paul? I just want to get it on camera. No, your key to bottle room? Yeah. Your hand is over, quick. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get you out then. Watch out, Paul. It's, uh, well, I think you're all right. Scared of dying, you were. Uh. <laughs> Right, I've had to come down to Ole and do it myself because these two are just Jonas. So. <laughs> Straight in and a moors. <laughs> the rarities just keep coming. Right, back to it and I'll get some more. Right, end of day two. And sadly, it looks like I might have to have a day three. Uh, I think there's a bit left. It's no good going into detail, but... I think we might have to just do a day three. It's real. Right, uh, this is his third day, and I think it'll be the last day in this particular part of the site. Still plenty more of the area to search. There's actually a few different tips in this area, uh, but he's locating them, it's hard. They were well capped off, 10 foot of clay, that's why they're still here. So we'll, after this section we'll put some test holes in and see if there's any other parts we can get at for later. Uh, as for this area, we've had two other digs which were further back up there. This will be the last section of it, it's about 16 foot. About 12 foot of it is actually clear, as you've seen in earlier shots. So, a couple of hours peeling it off and we'll see what we've got underneath. A few bits starting to appear. Big size Bovril. Thought they might have been the Johnsons, but it's just after that, I think. <laughs> Spectators getting fed up. A berry, Manchester. How about a skittle? Nothing on. It's all up. Don't bother them. Pot lid base. It's a little 
little French bottle. Don't ask me to pronounce it with my Yorkshire accent. Eye ointment, single thing, golden eye ointment. Really interesting looking seeing what Paul's working on, but for some reason just doesn't want to produce anything. That little bit there, that little bite stripe of yellow, that's a bit the bit the sandy deck of the hillside. It's about three foot of ash now at this stage. About ten foot of clay. Not many bottles. Little blue. Little soda, Roberts finely tires. It's a plain skittle forward on about earlier. How about that for bad luck? Emo's fruit salts, Scott's emulsion and a P. Molier, Molier. Christiana which boffin down there, the oracle tells us were changed its name to Oslo in 1925. Transfer printed salt, bit of an airline but it ain't too bad. Bumstead, London. Needed to be replaced. Right, that's end of day three. Spines weren't brilliant. Some uh, pretty bad news that we found some more fresh, so there's going to be a day four. So. Stay tuned for more misery. <laughs>